The California bearing ratio test measures the pressure needed to penetrate a soil sample. The test compares the penetration resistance of the soil to a standard high quality compacted granular material. The harder the surface, the higher the CBR value. Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the mean CBR value of the soil sample. I have been given a question which states that the load penetration values of CBR tests conducted on two soil specimens of a particular soil are given below. We have to find the average CBR value of the soil if uh, 100 divisions of the load dial represents 190 kg load in the calibration chart of the proving rig. We can see the table in which the first column is the penetration of the plunger in mm. The second column is the load dial reading in divisions for specimen number one and third column is the load dial reading in divisions for specimen number two. We can see that uh, these are the load dial readings in divisions. So we have to first convert these readings into the load values. And after that, we will draw a graph between the penetration uh, values and the load values to find the CBR value. We will do these calculations in the Excel. So let's move to the Excel for the calculations. In Excel, you will draw a table having the five columns. The first one is the penetration of the plunger. Second is the load dye readings for specimen one. And the third one is the load values in kg for specimen number one. Similarly, the fourth column is the load dye readings for specimen number two. And the fifth column is the load values in kg for specimen number two. In question, it is given that 100 divisions of the dial gauge is equal to 190 kg load values. It means that one division is equal to 190 divided by 100. So for the first uh, uh, load dial readings to convert it into the load values. So simply you will select the first row uh, of the third column and then write equal sign. Then you will select this uh, uh, first row of the second column that is this zero dial uh, gauge reading and then you will multiply it with 190 divided by 100 okay so this will convert it into the uh, kg load values in kg so for zero dial readings it is uh, equal to zero kg load to convert the other dial readings into the load values, simply you will select the first row of the third column and then you will drag it till the last row and Excel will automatically calculate the load dial readings for rest of the columns into the load values. Simply you have to multiply uh, each load dial readings with 190 and divide it by 100 and you will get the load values in kg. Similarly for specimen number two, you will again select the first row of the fifth column, then write the equal sign, select the first row of the fourth column and multiply it with 190 divided by 100 and this will convert it into the load values. To get the value for the rest of the rows, select the first row and drag it till the last row and you will get the value of load for the rest of the dial gauge readings okay so this gives us the load values for each penetration value now we can draw a graph between the penetration values and the load values to find the cbr so after getting the load values for each penetration value, you will again draw a table in Excel having the two columns. Okay, the first one is the penetration of plunger in mm and second is the load values in kg, which we just find out for the specimen number one. Now we will draw a graph between these two values. So we will select the data and then we will go to the insert, click on the charts and select this scatter with smooth lines and markers. Okay, so this gives us the chart uh, between the uh, penetration values and the load values okay we will increase the size of this graph okay delete the chart title okay and then we will add the axis titles for the horizontal axis you will write penetration in mm okay 
and for the vertical axis you will write the load values in kgs okay now you will again select the horizontal axis okay and uh, you will let these uh, minor units equal to 0 0.5 make the tick marks uh, visible for the major type as cross and minor type as inside change the color of this axis from gray to black and increase the weight to one point to see the values more clearly similarly for the vertical axis okay you will change its color from gray to black and increase the weight to one point okay in the axis option make the values for major type as cross and minor type as inside okay so this gives us a graph between the penetration and load values now to find the uh, cbr value or to find the load value at 2.5 mm penetration okay so we can see this a graph has a convexity uh, upwards so we don't need to apply any correction to this graph okay to find the cbr value or load value at 2.5 mm so simply at 2.5 mm draw a vertical line okay this will intersect the uh, this uh, curve at some point from that point draw a horizontal line and this will give you the cpr sorry load value at 2.5 mm okay so this is approximately equal to 64.6 kg similarly at 5 mm so you will uh, write the load at 2.5 mm penetration this is equal to 64.6 kg okay to find the penetration at uh, load value at 5 mm penetration again you will draw a line vertical line at 5 mm penetration value so this is 5 draw line okay this will intersect the curve at some point from that point you will draw a horizontal line okay so from this point draw a horizontal line so this gives me the load value at 5 mm penetration okay so it is approximately equal to 91.2 kg okay so you will write the load at 5 mm penetration equal to 91.2 kgs okay similarly for specimen number two you will again draw a table in excel with two columns the first one is the penetration of the plunger in mm and second one is the load values in kg for specimen number two then you will select the data and again go to the insert and click on the charts and select this scatter with smooth lines okay then increase the size of the chart delete the chart title and again add the axis titles for horizontal axis you will again write penetration values in mm and for the vertical axis you will write the load values in kgs okay for horizontal axis you will select the horizontal axis 
double click on the horizontal axis and let the uh, minor units be 0 0.2 okay make the tick marks visible for the major type as cross and minor type as inside change the color of the axis from gray to black increase the weight to one point similarly for vertical axis increase its change its color from gray to black and increase the weight to one point and in the axis option make the tick marks visible for major type as cross and minor type as inside okay so this gives us the graph between the penetration and the load values we can see that this curve for the specimen number two has initial concavity okay so it means a correction is required for this graph okay so in this case corrected origin this is obtained by drawing a tangent from the steepest point on the curve okay so you have to select the steepest point on the curve and from that point you have to draw the tangent okay so i can see this point here is the steepest point on the curve so i will draw a tangent from this point okay so draw a tangent from this point okay so i can see this point intersects the horizontal axis at 1.6 okay so it's slightly here okay so the tangent from the steepest point of the curve intersects the horizontal axis at 1.6 mm so this 1.6 mm is our corrected origin and uh, from this value we have to measure the penetration of 2.5 mm and 5 mm so 1.6 is now our corrected origin so 2.5 mm from this point will be equal to simply this is 1.6 plus 2.5 which is equal 4.1 mm so on this graph you have to uh, select uh, the horizontal value horizontal axis value of 4.1 mm okay and from that point you will draw a vertical line so this is 4.1 mm value okay which actually is our 2.5 mm penetration value so from this point you will draw a vertical line okay this will intersect the curve at some point from that point draw a horizontal line okay so this gives me the load value at 2.5 mm penetration so it's uh, intersecting the vertical axis at 60 kg so you can say that the load value at uh, 2.5 mm penetration is 60 kg sixty kg. similarly to find the penetration at 5 mm so you have to measure 5 mm from this 1.6 mm okay so simply add that is 1.6 plus 5 which is equal to 6.6 .6. so this is here 6.6 .6. so from this you have to draw a vertical line okay so from 6.6 .6, draw a vertical line okay this will cut the curve at some point okay from that point you will draw a horizontal line which will intersect the vertical axis at some point and this value is the load corresponding to 5 mm penetration so we can see this is uh, intersecting the vertical axis at 88 kg so you can say load at 5 mm penetration is 88 kg okay 
so now you have got the load values for 2.5 mm penetration and 5 mm penetration for both the specimens now we can easily find the cbr value of the soil so let's find the cbr value of the soil if i summarize the concept of finding the load values at 2.5 mm penetration and 5 mm penetration from the graph so for specimen number first first you will draw a graph between penetration values in mm and load values in kg okay so to find the load value at 2.5 mm penetration you will draw a vertical line at 2.5 mm penetration value this will uh, cut the curve at some point from that point you will draw a horizontal line this will cut the vertical axis at some point this value is your load value corresponding to 2.5 mm penetration similarly for 5 mm penetration value draw a vertical line at 5 mm penetration value this will cut the curve at some point from that point draw a horizontal line and this horizontal line will intersect the vertical axis at some load value so this load value is your uh, load value for 5 mm penetration so load at 2.5 mm penetration is 64.6 kg uh, CBR at 2.5 mm penetration is equal to load at 2.5 mm penetration divided by load for standard aggregates at 2.5 mm penetration which in this case is 1370 okay so CBR at 2.5 mm penetration is 64.6 divided by 1370 into 100 which is 4.7 percent load at 5 mm penetration is 91.2 kg so CBR at 5 mm penetration is 91.2 divided by 2055 this 2055 is the load at uh, 5 mm penetration for standard aggregates okay so multiply it with 100 and you will get the cbr at 5 mm penetration which is 4.4 percent cbr is the higher of the two values so you can say cbr value of the specimen number one is 4.7 percent similarly for specimen number two draw a graph between penetration and load values okay so this graph uh, has a initial concavity so draw a tangent at steepest point this will intersect the horizontal axis at some point so this point is your corrected origin from this point major 2.5 mm penetration okay so at that point draw a vertical line this will cut the curve at some point from that point draw a horizontal line and this will give you the load value corresponding to 2.5 mm penetration okay so for 5 mm penetration you will measure the 5 mm from this corrected origin draw a vertical line at this point okay this will cut the curve at some point from that point draw a horizontal line and this will give you the load value corresponding to 5 mm penetration which is 88 kg okay so load at 2.5 mm penetration is 60 kg cbr at 2.5 mm penetration is 60 divided by the load for the standard aggregates which is 1370 multiply it with 100 and you will get the cbr at 2.5 mm penetration which is 4.4 percent load at 5 mm penetration is 88 kg cbr at 5 mm penetration is 88 divided by 2055 into 100 which is 4.3 percent cbr is the higher of the two values so you can say cbr value for the specimen number two is 4.4 percent okay so mean cbr value of the soil sample is 4.7 plus 4.4 divided by 2 which is 4.55 percent so you can say this is the mean cbr value for this soil sample this video showed you how to find uh the load values at 2.5 mm penetration and 5 mm penetration and from that values how to obtain the cbr value of the soil i hope this uh, solution video was clear to you and you learned something new from this video if you find my videos helpful please subscribe to my channel and share this video thanks for watching and stay tuned